Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel again, General Technology Knowledge. Today I would like to show and share about how to use buttons for uh, overlay the screens, uh, analog uh, output screen. It is just example. Basically, we can uh, overlay all the screen that we want to uh, overlay yes what is different between uh, overlay screen and open screen for uh, open screen we already learned in the previous video we can uh, open the screen one by one by uh, config the button on the action and uh, the event so uh, we can open the screen one by one okay but uh, overlay screen it means that uh, we can overlay only one screen if we would like to uh, come back the previous screen we can uh, config another uh, event or procedure to uh, overlay the screen back okay so uh, to uh, open or uh, overlay the screen I will uh, show how to uh, use or how to uh, config the buttons to uh, overlay the screen okay so uh, let's go So first, uh, please open the workbench, ProVC workbench, yes. And I will use the existing project that we already learned in the previous video, yes. And then uh, click start the project, yes. Okay, click OK to start the project. Because uh, we need to start the project, before we uh, do something on this project okay otherwise it will uh, not work if we uh, not start it so uh, please wait a moment okay uh, right now we already uh, started the project of uh, provisi uh, workbank yes so uh, I will show uh, the previous video a little bit yes so here is the uh, event or procedure for uh, open the screens or faceplate example we uh, can click to open the screen yes that we want yeah. example open screen uh, number three and number four yes we can uh, do it okay so uh, we did it on uh, this uh, procedure or event. So today we will uh, create one uh, more function that we call overlay screen. Yes. So I will create the main screen one more for uh, overlay. Yes. So right click. Make sure you uh, click here screens tab and then uh, click new yeah right click and then new okay we will got uh, the screen yes and we can save the screen and put the name main example main overlay yes main overlay So here we can uh, draw the button, yes, to uh, overlay the screen, yes. Example, uh, click the button, yes. So uh, we can draw the button, the size of button, and uh, we can uh, config the stick button example uh, this one screen 
x1 yes yes so uh, I will copy to be uh, four buttons because we uh, will uh, overlay the four screens also yes sample like this okay so I can adjust to be uh, aligned okay so I can uh, use the take file yes yeah, sorry yeah, use the text string yeah example uh, overlay the screen so I can change the color of text to be a uh, yellow yes and I can uh, adjust the font to be uh, 20 yes okay so uh, right now we already uh, create the text for uh, the screen and uh, buttons for the overlay the screen so I will change this one to uh, be AQ2 this one to be uh, AQ3 and this one to be AQ4 yes Okay, and I can save again to config the button to overlay the screen. Let's go to this one and right click and property. Yes, and go to event and then choose the mouse up. Yes, and choose the new procedure. New and go to the action type yes the action that we want is uh, overlay screen yes this one so click here and then choose the screen that we want to overlay so example uh, AQ1 screen yeah double click and then choose the project and then click OK if we would like to confirm we can uh, also confirm yes if I click confirm like this, okay, I will uh, example, I will show, we will uh, confirm, yeah, if we uh, do you wish to open the aq one screen dot sim, yeah, if we skip it not overlay, if we uh, click OK, it will uh, overlay the screen aq one okay. So we need to uh, config some button here to back to the the main screen. Otherwise, we cannot uh, overlay some screen. Okay. So I will config the button to be uh, AQ2 until AQ4 to be uh, finished first. Then I will go to the screen. Yeah. AQ1, AQ2, AQ3, and 4 to be a pre, uh, back screen to a main screen. Okay. So uh, I will uh, not confirm. Yeah, we just pre here. If you would like to uh, not confirm, yes. So for uh, screen AQ2, we do the same uh, method yeah go to event and then go to uh, mouse up choose the new procedure and click new and choose the action type overlay screen should be a uh, overlay screen uh, aq2 right double click or click open and choose the project name click ok yes for uh, aq3 screen we do the same method yeah, go to mouse up new procedure new 
and choose the overlay screen yeah choose the screen that we want to overlay yeah and click ok one more yeah we can go to event and then go to uh, mount up go to new procedure and go to action type choose overlay screen if we would like to uh, uh, overlay some screen example uh, we cannot find uh, some screen let's go to uh, project location yes and choose the project name and click OK and OK again so right now that's all we can save uh, our screen and then can test so if I would like to uh, overlay screen x 4 I can click here we can uh, overlay the screen x uh, 4 okay so uh, I need to config some button here to back to the uh, screen yes so uh, let's go to uh, screen number one yes to config so here I can draw uh, one button that call uh, main yeah go to main screen yeah yeah I will uh, discrete the font a little bit to be uh, 14 yes yes it's part this one uh, overlay the screen man so we can uh, config yeah the same as uh, the screen x1 2 3 and 4 also so uh, go to even yeah I will change the color a little bit sample this color go to even and then go to uh, mount up and choose new procedure and new and then go to uh, overlay screen and choose the screen name that we uh, would like to overlay so here is the screen that we uh, would like to overlay if everyone not find uh, this screen we can go to the project location yeah example my project is keep on desktop so I will uh, go to desktop and then choose the project name and go to screens and uh, we can choose the screen name that we want to overlay okay so we can choose the screen yes and choose the project name okay save the screen and then uh, copy this uh, button to be uh, paste another screen yes paste screen number two yeah control v and save and for screen number three control v and save for screen number four please control v and then save also okay so I can uh, close this screen also and then uh, we can test okay so uh, we will call the screen yeah over the screen uh, AQ1 yeah so it should be like this yes and if we would like to uh, go back we can uh, press this button it will go to uh, screen number uh, 2 yes back again over screen number 3 yes man again over screen number 4 okay so uh, we can uh, overlay the screens that we want by follow the uh, event and uh, procedure that I already uh, show yes so uh, thank you very much for watching my video and if everyone have any question please drop comment under my video I will reply soon 
and I would like to uh, request all of you to like, share, and subscribe my channel also to get more notification and more new video that I will create step by step. So in this time, I would like to say thank you very much again and see you next videos. Bye-bye.